kidding me? Now you're going to lay down? This has been over an hour and 10 minute walk. Now granted, I hooked him up to the snow plow a couple of times. Not while it was moving. Calm down. Um, but he's been out over an hour and 10 minutes. And now he's going to lay down in the tall grass. It's the Dog Walk Chronicles. The gnats are getting to be a problem already. And is that a tick on my leg? What is that? Something's biting me. Uh, it was biting me. Not biting me now. How many times can I ask for prayers for the country? If someone hears this, let's start a movement where we pray for our country, where we pray for it to go back to its Christian roots, and there's no more pure Christian roots than the Catholic Church. There's nothing purer and better than the Catholic Church. as a way to help guide us, the catechism of the church. I mean, I'm guessing Jesus knew what he was talking about when he said, I'm gonna start this church, I'm gonna start my church on Peter the rock. Well, now what are you sitting up for? And then when he left, he said, you won't, before he left, he said, you won't get the Holy Spirit until I leave. Then the Holy Spirit comes. The church recognizes that this is the birth of the Catholic Church. When the Holy Spirit descended down onto the apostles in the upper room and they went out and started speaking in tongues and had the power of the Holy Spirit to explain to people, to baptize, to do miracles, and ultimately to die, all of them torturous deaths. Even John was tortured during his life. I think he was caned. I think he got stoned once but he did not die. Today is the feast of John, of John, the boiling of John at the gates. This is a story I didn't know, but John was to be taken outside of the gate, he was taken from Ephesus, bound, taken to, I guess, Rome, taken outside the gates, put in a pot of boiling oil, and then stepped out un, uninjured. So the Holy Spirit, I guess, is responsible for that as well. And at that point, apparently, I didn't I, what I read didn't have details. They sent him off to be exiled to Patmos, the island of Patmos. So I said this before. Sometimes when they try to kill someone and the Holy Spirit intervenes for whatever way, they try to drown them, it doesn't work. They try to shoot them with arrows. They, air, they try to cut their head off and the thing doesn't work. And then eventually, and then sometimes they, they let them go, but more than likely they'll try it another way. Sometimes that way also the Holy Spirit intervenes and tries to give the people around them a chance to recognize the power of the Holy Spirit and to realize that what they're doing is what they're, the way they're following is not the way. And so, um, and then usually they'll try again and oftentimes the second or third time it'll work. But this time, interestingly, and, and it's not the first time that people have been, they've tried to kill someone, the Holy Spirit intervenes and then they let them go. But here again, John let go. So let's, um, Ask the Holy Spirit to come to help guide the United States, to help guide hearts. To It's been said that you can change laws like on abortion, but you, you need to change the hearts of people. You have to get people to understand. So let's ask the Holy Spirit to enter everyone's hearts, particularly voters. Ah, particularly the young, too. I mean, the college students, there's a good percentage of them have lost their, their damn minds. <sighs> Look at these protesters. 
and let's ask the saints to pray for us and let's pray for the souls in purgatory.